We are also watching the sentencing of Jesse Smollett or Smollett. This is the 2019 fake hate crime, the hate crime hoax. My view is this needs to be taken very seriously. And for those who may not remember what this was about, um, actor Jesse Smollett back in 2019, this was days before. Wait, no, what year? No, no, this was a year before the pandemic, not days before the pandemic. This was the year before the pandemic. The American actor Jesse Smollett reported to Chicago PD that he had been the victim of a hate crime. And it turns out he staged the hate crime with two Nigerian American brothers who were extras um, on Empire, which is the show that actor Jesse Smollett um, acted in. And Smollett arranged for the brothers to attack him while wearing ski masks and arranged for them to shout racial and homophobic slurs, pour bleach on him, put a noose around his neck. And he not only reported it, but said one of the people who did it was white. Now, I, I find this all despicable. I find it all despicable. But as a just as a as a minor detail. If you stage a racist hate crime. And you're black. Wouldn't you hire white people to do it? Like what I mean is it seems like such an unforced error to get black guys to attack you and then claim. Oh, I mean, it's 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 horrible on all levels, but it also is like he's not exactly a criminal genius, I guess we would say. Um, in any case, police started to get suspicious and it turns out that he staged it. And we are now standing by uh, at the sentencing hearing. Let's just listen to a little bit. And now here's here's my um, my take on this. OK, this needs to be taken very seriously because the right loves to say there's constantly false reports of rape and hate crimes and all these different things. Now, you know, and I know we all know we all know there is almost no fake reporting of crimes. And in fact, it's the opposite. There's probably under reporting because of stigma, shame, worry that the police won't believe me, worry that my family will be but you know, all this different stuff. So when this does happen, it has to be taken very seriously. Let's listen a little bit to the arguments here. This is the sentencing of Jesse Smollett. He told him what to buy, what derogatory, homophobic, racial slurs to utter, to try to pretend as if there's whites involved by yelling out mega country. He owned every bit of the plan and he worked hard on it. He planned it out and he executed on it. And he owns that for doing that. And so, yes, it is serious misconduct on his part and it had broad ramifications. And the the true victims are, of course, number one, the true hate crime victims that are not going to report these crimes. They are the true victims. The police department, though, is a victim. And I'm, I'm going to talk about that. OK, so we're going to continue monitoring this. I have so many other things to get to, but we are we are going to monitor that. A uh, Pustain Pete says, David, sir, I've retained Whitney as legal counsel. I've been audited 10 to 15 times because of your coupon codes. Call Whitney to discuss terms. We'll do that. Uh, and Austin said, David, sir, did the judge offer calzones? I don't know. I haven't been following this case, so I don't know if the judge here has been as accommodating when it comes to food during the trial. By the way, how are the calzones? The food is here. Let's take a break. Lunch is here. Pizza is here. But uh, we have Subway tomorrow. Warm food around noon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we um, we're, we're going to continue. We're going to continue monitoring this.